Well, you may think that tax havens only exist outside the U.S., but that's not the case at all. Dina Gosowski explains. Countries like Panama, Luxembourg, and Bermuda are known by the world's power players as tax havens. And some states here are known for the same thing. Two of the biggest, Nevada and Wyoming. In fact, these two states are directly linked to the Panamanian law firm at the heart of the latest financial scandal. Heather Lowe, legal counsel whose firm advises governments and tracks illicit financial activities around the world, explained how. In the Panama Papers, we actually see that Mossack Fonseca had uh, offices in both Nevada and Wyoming. And those were one-person operations where they did actually register thousands of companies. I'm actually a little surprised that it's not more. So what makes these states so attractive for setting up businesses and storing funds? You can create anonymous companies pretty much anywhere in the United States. It's extremely easy to do, but Nevada and Wyoming stand out because they don't have state corporate income taxes. So if income can be moved to Nevada or Wyoming, it will not face state taxation, thereby reducing the tax bill. There's also Delaware. A majority of Fortune 500 companies are incorporated there. Delaware does have a state tax, but that tax does not apply to income earned from intangible assets, such as patents and trademarks. Delaware also has a legal system that is friendly towards businesses. That's why Duke University accounting associate professor and co-author of this report, exploring the role Delaware plays as a domestic tax haven, Scott Dyring, said much of the appeal these states have relies on legal precedent. Nevada, Delaware, and Wyoming have gone to um, greater lengths to make the business formation process convenient and quick. And companies are also uh, comfortable going there because they're familiar with the processes there and the um, case law is strong and the courts are business friendly. The idea of having an anonymous company is not nefarious per se, but of course if someone can be anonymous they might be able to use that secrecy to move income around the world and possibly to hide it in bank accounts so that it escapes taxation from the government authorities. A 2012 CNBC documentary showcased how some individuals use shell companies incorporated in Nevada to hide their identities and potentially dodge taxes. Former Nevada Secretary of State Ross Miller weighed in. Anytime you have a volume of filings that we see in this state, second per capita behind only Delaware, you're going to have some bad actors and some people that are going to try to market your business statutes in a way that's inaccurate and promotes illegal activities. The trick is going after those individuals and holding them accountable. The Justice Department said it would be reviewing reports linked to the Panama Papers. But whether or not certain individuals will be punished remains unclear. I think the Justice Department's hands are going to be somewhat tied because a lot of this is perfectly legal. Um, I think the Justice Department will tend to be creative in finding ways to charge crimes. Uh, but in the end, I think one of the biggest lessons that we find with this, the Panama Papers leaks is that there is a lot out there that is happening that should be illegal, but isn't illegal. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dina Gosowski.